Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Yeri Mina is attracting interest from Italy. That is a calling to the uh, Italian press today. Inter Milan are reportedly ready to make a move to sign the 27-year-old Colombian centre-back. Uh, this is because Milan Schrickner looks like he may well join PSG in January. Uh, and Inter assured then on centre-backs. Mina obviously only has, he'll have, what, six months uh, just a bit less than six months of his contract to run. Uh, a fee of around £8 million has been bandied about. I think Everton would be delighted if they got £8 million with a, for a player whose contract will expire five months later. But, you know, whether or not Everton will want to keep Mina for the duration of the season and his, his contract, or would they be happy to, say, take a fee of around four or £5 million for him and, and get him off the wage bill? Um, remains to be seen, but... He's obviously, when he's fit, and, and there's the key, isn't it? When he's fit. Yet he mean is still a very good centre-back and, uh, you know, could easily play in Everton's first team, be a first choice. Obviously, we've got, right now, Con uh, Connor Cody and James Tarkovsky there occupying those two positions. But Mina is certainly someone who you have to think about putting straight into that starting eleven. But the injuries have just ruined them. And you can never, ever rely on them. Maybe a move into slightly warmer climate in Italy than here might help him you know slightly slower game bit more tactical might help his body but it, it seems unlikely to me that Everton would offer him a contract extension just for the fact that he isn't fit enough you know and the money he'd want and all of that so maybe and I'd be sad to see him go but you know it's all about being ruthless now isn't it maybe if Inter Milan do offer this money then Everton would see it as a really good deal and the player himself in some land big club in Italy always doing well near the top it'd be a good uh, a good sign for him so it's a watch this space on that one uh, Everton are expected to complete the signing of Cork City goalkeeper David Harrington in January uh, the player is currently recovering from a shoulder injury uh, a fee of around €100,000 is reportedly being agreed between Cork City and Everton. Uh, the Irish press today reporting that that deal will be completed uh, when the January transfer window opens for the 22-year-old goalkeeper. Uh, he is attracting, currently attracting interest from Wales who are looking into his um, whether or not he can play for them. Apparently, he can play for them. He's obviously Irish goalkeeper, so there's a little bit of an international battle going on for him. He is very highly rated. Uh, quite a few clubs have looked at him. Um, and it appears that Everton have won the race to sign him. So uh, in January, David Harrington looks like becoming an Everton player. Uh, and on the back of that, uh, Jao Virginia, who's doing really well on loan uh, at SC Camber in the Netherlands. Well, Dutch journalist Ari Hahn says that he is surprised that Virginia hasn't broken through at Everton um, because the standard of his performances this season for SC Camber says so a very confident goalkeeper can play you know, with his comfortable with his feet and has done excellently for Cambo so far this season. He's got three clean sheets in nine games, had another one at the weekend and done really well. And obviously Java Jing is under contract till twenty twenty four. He's twenty three years of age. Off the back of the Harrington story, you know, I have Everton literally decided that uh, they're gonna cut their their ties with Java Jing and, and maybe sell him. Uh, this summer, obviously, if he does well and continues to do well in Holland, then who knows? Maybe one of the uh, the other Dutch sides might come in for him as well. He did have a unsuccessful loan period at Sporting Lisbon last season. Of course, didn't play much due to uh, Adnan being the first choice there. But it's good to see him doing really well at SC Campbell. But obviously, like I said, the Harrington story, if that is is accurate, is Java Jing going to want to come in and battle with him um, for the number two? Or are those who are going to be number two and number three goalie for Everton? Remains to be seen. And um, finally, Everton are reportedly ready to open preliminary contract or contract talks with uh, Everton midfielder Alex Awobi. Awobi has been in tremendous form this season, uh, scored a, a brilliant goal in Sunday's 2 1 defeat with Manchester United. He's got just under two years left on his current Everton deal. He's been an integral part of Frank Lampard's team since uh, Lampard took over, really, but certainly since establishing himself in the uh, the Everton midfield. Lampard loves him. Awobi's form's got better and better, full of energy. He's had four assists, I think, so far this season and obviously got his first goal of the season as well on Sunday. So he's doing really well and 
it seems as though Everton are ready to uh, to give him a contract extension to cash in on you know how good his form is. Other clubs are apparently circling. Um, they like what they've seen of Awobi in that central area, but if they can agree a deal, I'm sure he'd be happy to uh, to pen an extension to uh, just you know further testament how well he has done this season. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and if you want more videos, including daily live videos, why not become a Toffee TV Premier member? The link is in the description, and the QR code is on the screen now. Thanks for watching. See you later.